Hello everyone, it is January the 24th, 2015. came across this article, it was sent to me by a friend of mine, from the Daily News. And the title is, Man Baffled After Getting Georgia Traffic Ticket for Eating a Hamburger While Driving. And I don't know whether to laugh or cry on this one. This is just too stupid for words. It says, Madison Turner was cited last week for distracted driving in Marietta after an officer observed him chowing down on the burger for two miles. Turner claims he didn't speed or drive erratically, but Georgia state law is vague on what is and isn't distracted driving. Here's a picture of his ticket. Driver exercised due care. Eating while driving. Madison Turner was cited for distracted driving, specifically eating while driving, when cruising in Cobb County, Georgia. Madison Turner has a beef with Georgia's <laughs> driving laws. The Alabama man was pulled over and busted in Marietta, Georgia for distracted driving as he munched on a McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese. The officer explained to me that he observed me eating a burger for over two miles, Turner told WSB-TV. He said specifically three times, you can't just go down the road eating a hamburger. And there he is, Mr. Turner. Mr. Turner said he was being safe as he ate his burger while driving. Turner was baffled. He says he wasn't driving erratically or speeding down the Cobb County Road, but Georgia state laws, distracted driving law, is fairly vague. Reading, quote, a driver shall exercise due care in operating a motor vehicle on the highways of the state and shall not engage in any actions which shall distract such driver from the safe operation of such vehicle. Maybe I was enjoying the burger too much and I needed to tone it down. I was certainly willing to do so, but I didn't expect to be fined or punished, said Turner. He plans to fight the ticket when he shows up for court February 3rd. And there's the burger. Well, let me just say, you know, I don't eat McDonald's hamburgers, but they look pretty small. So I wouldn't think it would take very long to eat that little hamburger. Turner had one hand on the wheel and the other wrapped around a McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese when he was busted. Cops said they couldn't comment to WSB about the particular incident, but one local DUI and traffic attorney said the ticket was the first of its kind that he'd heard of. If this was a law, I'd have to hire more attorneys because everybody does it, including me. William Head, who is not involved in Turner's case, told the station, I've only seen something like this charge when there's an accident. When there's no accident here, there was no accident here, so the fact that this man was charged with eating and driving is a first for me. I guess you get a little video there, too, if you want to listen to it. Almost all states consider texting or talking on cell phones distracted driving, but few have eating as a specific on-the-books example of distracted driving. A local ordinance in Huron, South Dakota, declared eating pizza distracted driving in 2012 while the Michigan State Police specifically notes that eating and drinking are distracting activities. Maybe if you had a giant pizza in both hands and you weren't holding the wheel, or maybe if you had a watermelon, half watermelon, and you were just driving in into it, <laughs> diving into it, excuse me, maybe you were just diving into it and holding it with both hands, maybe that would be something Head told the station. And that's the end of the article. Well, I just have to say, this is just going a little bit too far. Eating just isn't fun anymore. And these burgers are pretty small. What about if a person is diabetic? Although I don't think diabetics should be eating double quarter pounders with cheese. But what if a diabetic is having some sort of low sugar episode and they need to eat something in the car? Are the police going to pull them over for eating something to raise their blood sugar? 
And you know these Popo police officers are munching down every chance they get while driving. Shoot, the local donut shop in town is always busy. So you know they're eating while they're driving, and they're distracted while they're driving. I just think this is going a little bit too far. And by the way, a car is an extension of your home. So what you do in your home, with you know, given certain situations, probably not, but most of the things that you do in your home, your car is an extension of your home. And that's why you're allowed to keep a handgun in the glove box. Because it is considered part of your home. And you have a right to protect your home. And you have a right to protect yourself in your car from carjackings. That's why it's okay to have a handgun in the glove box. And you know, this eating, I eat in my car. No, I wouldn't hold up a big pizza and be eating with both hands, but I eat in my car all the time. So what? I drink my coffee in my car. And you know what? You drivers out there who, who come near me in the mornings when I'm on my way to work, you better be glad I'm drinking my coffee because I am no fun without my morning coffee. And I can bet that I would be an enraged driver in the morning without my morning coffee. But this little article, I just can't believe what this country is becoming. This is absolutely ridiculous. Eating while driving. I just don't get it. Nothing is fun anymore. Have a great day, everyone.